Hey, what's up everybody? It's George here. We're back with another video. Now today's video is video number four in the Align T-Rex 500E Electronics and Setup Series. In our last video, we leveled out the servo arms, set the servo directions, and now we're ready to continue on with leveling the swash plate. Let's take a quick look at my setup. First, I have my radio and a battery. I have the helicopter and I have removed the head, nothing to it, pull out the Jesus bolt, disconnect the four links from the top of the swash, lifts right off. And the tools that we're going to be needing are a ball link pliers and a swash level and that's it. So let's go ahead and put the camera on the tripod and level the swash. I've already got my radio turned on, I have it at mid stick. I'm in the sub trim screen and I've tried to move it so you can see the radio and the swash at the same time. And we're ready to start leveling the swash at mid stick. Now what I'm going to try to do is make all of my adjustments using the links. Um, this way I don't have to change any of the sub trim that we just set when we leveled all of our servos. Let's go ahead and put the swash level on and see how good it looks. I like to use a flashlight so I can see and auxiliary one is touching and the elevator is touching and the aileron is a little bit low so what I'm going to do is adjust I'm just going to go one turn to start I'll pop it off using my ball link pliers when you make the turn make sure that you make a full turn so that the letter is facing out again. Go ahead and pop it back on. I'll move my stick all the way low, right back to the middle. Put the swash leveler on. And let's take a look. Auxiliary one is touching. Elevator's touching, and aileron is touching. And now the swash is perfectly level. That's not too bad, one turn off. Let me go ahead and move the camera so you can get a better look at what I'm seeing. Now what we wanna see is the bottom of the swash leveler is touching the top of the swash arm that the ball link goes into. And if we use the flashlight, it really does let us see if any light's coming through. And that looks good on that side. I do the same thing on this side. And you can see that it's touching perfectly all the way around. The next thing to do is set the high stick and make sure that the swash is level at high stick. So let's go ahead and put the camera back and do the high stick setting. I've already set my radio to the travel adjust screen, which is where we'll be making any changes if we need to level the swash at high and low stick. I have my stick set to the center position and we're ready to check high. To do that, I'll move my throttle to its high stick position and I'll install the swash leveler. Next I'll use my flashlight and I'll make sure that I'm touching on all three servos. I can see that the aileron servo is touching, auxiliary one or the pitch is touching and the elevator is touching. I can see I don't have to make any adjustments. If I did, I would simply adjust to travel, adjust for the appropriate servo in the direction that I wanted, and in this case, it would be max. Let's go ahead and move the stick to the low position and check that leveling. Once again, I'll use my flashlight, and I'll check the aileron is touching. Auxiliary one or pitch is touching and the elevator is touching. That tells me that my swash is level at low, mid and high stick positions. If I would have had to make any changes to the low stick leveling, I would have adjusted the travel adjust for the correct servo, but making sure that I was in the low travel adjust setting. Now that we're done, I can go ahead and install the head and continue on with the setup. 
this looks like a good place to take a break. So thanks for watching. Check for the next video where we continue working our way up the head. And happy flying, friends.